Crazy Chef Productions. Right, today we're going to do an unboxing video. We're going to do an unboxing video of a ultrasonic cool emiss humidifier. Now, I don't know about you, but my voice is getting raspy. I'm in the winter months you get cooped up in your apartment or home or kitchen or whatever. The air is dry, you've got radiators for central heating, you quite often have the temperature too high. I mean basically if you're in a living environment your temperature should be about 20, 21 and in your bedroom it should be 18. Not you gradually ramp it up, the air gets dry, you get circulated dust, you get dry throat and this can cause problems with your voice, it can cause give you dry coughs. I'm not saying there are obviously other reasons for it as well, but one thing to try is to see if you've got central heating, if you're cooped up, your house is dry, try a humidifier, or at least try a humidifier, perhaps in your bedroom overnight. You've obviously got to be very careful, you, you don't want any mould developing, you've got to make sure they're clean, and I'd probably use sterilised water or distilled water or bottled water rather than tap water, but anyway. This is a one I chose from Amazon. It's a RBO. I don't know why I choose it. I just looked at the specs. I looked at the recommendations. It looked good, good to try. So I'm now going to do the unboxing video. And here we go. I'll try to do the unboxing video. Okay, we're going to open up. Yeah. Open up. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we've got, first thing, we've got a handbook. The ultrasonic cool and mist humidifier user manual of model STL2209. Right, what's going on in here? Uh, yes. Stand up. Right, here we go. We have the box. Sorry, I've got it out before. Okay. Right, get rid of the box. Yeah! I also like crazy stuff, that's why we do silly crazy things. Okay, let's get rid of that, a bit of blue tape. Bit of packing, okay, so there we are. It's uh, the RBO dehumidifier. It's got controls low, I say it's low, turn it on low up to max. It's got, it, this is a UK version, so it's got a UK plug. I'm sure you can get European plugs. Okay, so a bit of blue tape there holding that on. And blue tape on the other side. It's very simple, there we are. We take it apart, some bits and pieces. Clean the water tank every three days, it says. Water tank there, I should probably clean it out then. Okay, there's that bit that sort of sprays out of there. It's very simple, I mean, it's two bits really. You put water in there. Anyway, I'm going to problem solved. Our team of experts will answer any questions. So it's as simple as that. There we are. It's an ultrasonic cool humidifier. Now I will do another video or I'll continue this video when I set it up and understand how to use it. Yeah. This is the humidifier. I'm going to use tap water. You should probably use bottled water if you're in a hard water area, but it's rather expensive. I'm going to try it this way. If it descales, I'll just descale it. Right, you turn, take it off upside down, you um, open the container, and you pour your water in. I'm just using a litre for testing. Put the top back carefully. The top back and replace it on the top. There we are, so it's a bit wet. 
to it wet and put the humidifier the uh, nozzle back in which you can do, you can uh, direct the um, you can direct the the f you can just direct right, I'm going to turn it on now halfway and you can actually see if I zoom in a bit, you can actually see the humid you can see the humid humidifying air coming out look so it's as simple as that turn it upside down fill it up up to two liters of water or 2.2 .2 liters of water put it back turn it on make sure there's no mold or debris in it so double check the container every two or three days if you're going to use it all the time and I would probably stick the top top assembly in the dishwasher not the motorized unit but the top anyway and if I'm getting too much trouble I start buying bottled water but it sort of uh, it gets a rather expensive way of doing it but it's probably not the better way of doing it anyway so there we are it's the Arabo humidifier and it's the controls go from low to maximum low off on low to maximum so I'm, I'm going to use it for a while halfway and see how we go.